I have a word that might make you wince just a little bit. Hemorrhoids. Ooh, yeah. Did you know that we all have them? You have them because you were born with them. That is what I have learned from Dr. Denise Poulos. She is the medical director of Advanced Hemorrhoid Centers. And Dr. Poulos, so if we're all born with them, why do some people have painful hemorrhoids and others don't? Well, a lot of it is genetics, just like some of us get freckles and some of us get gray hair, some get varicose veins, some of us get hemorrhoids. Ah, a little bit of it is what we do with our bodies. So women typically notice it during pregnancy from all that pressure, but also obesity, constipation, lots of heavy lifting can lead to it as well. So if you have a painful hemorrhoid, um, a lot of people have a tendency to ignore it until it gets so painful you can't anymore. I'm guessing that it's not a good idea to ignore hemorrhoids at all anyway. Yeah, some people get a hemorrhoid and it goes away after a few days and they feel fine for months or years. That's okay. okay. But when you have a hemorrhoid that's bothering you frequently or all the time or every day and you always are thinking about your bottom, like I don't want to go to the toilet, it's going to hurt to wipe, I don't want to move my bowels, it's going to hurt, I'm bleeding, I'm walking funny, I'm having trouble sitting. Don't suffer like that. Please come see us. Yeah, it's all about quality of life, isn't it? It is. All right, let's talk about the method that you use to treat hemorrhoids. It's very different. Explain to our viewers what you do differently. So what we do is um, the hemorrhoids that are engorged are really heavy and they tear off of their attachment and hang in the anal canal and interfere with its function. So we want to insert this uh, little tube. It's a very skinny tube. First, we apply some lo uh, local anesthetic and a little local muscle relaxer doesn't get in your bloodstream, doesn't make you feel goofy, it's just acting in the area. And the idea is to apply this little rubber band. Oh, It's my. a tiny little tight rubber band. This tube uh, which enters creates a gentle suction to pull that excess hemorrhoid tissue in the tube and place the tiny rubber band on the base of it. That's going to accomplish two things for us. It's going to cause this excess hemorrhoid tissue to shrivel, die, and fall off. It just happens within the next few days and passes when you move your bowels on the toilet. You don't even notice it happening. The other thing it does, it takes this loose tissue that's dangling and reattaches it up here where it belongs. And in this area, we don't have pain nerves. So it really is a painless process. So it, it taking care of the hemorrhoid, but it's also repairing it at the same time. It is. Wow, okay. And you do that all right here in office. It's all done in the office. So let's talk about results. Um, you get a treatment, what happens next? When, when are we gonna feel better? Not walk funny and not be afraid to go to the yeah. bathroom. Well, some of our patients start to feel relief as soon as we prescribe this ointment, which has local anesthetic, but most importantly, something that relaxes the sphincter muscle. Ah. But then we start the banding process. We all have three sets of hemorrhoids. That's just the way we're built. Really? So we, we band one at a time. And so some people feel relief after the first band, some will see some progression, but really feel great once that final third band is placed. So is it safe to say if you have one bad hemorrhoid, you're gonna have two more? It's, if you have a high pressure system in the rectum, usually all three are enlarged. Once in a while, it's one or two, and we'll treat as many as necessary, but most of our patients will have three bandings. Well, will they come back? Well, our treatments overall are over 90% successful, but about 85% get great long-term results, 15% of the time, our patients might get hemorrhoids that bother them again. Okay. So what can we do to minimize that risk? Right. Maintain a normal weight. Don't sit on the toilet more than five minutes, even if you're not constipated. It's not a great place to play on your phone or do cross your puzzles. Uh, the toilet creates excess suction. And don't be constipated. And then watch heavy lifting to the point where you're lifting and grunting and straining. Puts a lot of pressure on our bottom. You know, here's the thing. A hemorrhoids is not a fun uh, topic, but you've made it so interesting and you're, you're so kind and, and, and gentle and sweet to talk to. So thank you so much. Really good information. Appreciate it. Thank you, Terry. You're welcome. Here's more. You can reach out to Dr. Poulos and her team if you'd like to know more at Advanced Hemorrhoid Centers. They're located at 10250 North 92nd Street, Suite 216 in Scottsdale. Call 480-359-2290 or visit the website to learn more, advancedhemorrhoidcenters.com.